as some of you may or may not know, my name is Whitney. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Uh, so this is the very beginning of a new project of mine that I'm super excited about. I'm creating a YouTube channel in order to try to connect you to people all around the world, or connect people from all around the world to you. By following these videos and getting involved yourself, hopefully we can initiate a change within ourselves and others in order to see things differently. Our current media mainly focuses on the negative, and it has an effect on us whether we know it or not. If you're like me and being exposed to all of this overwhelms, depletes your energy, and depresses the hell out of you, you're not alone. I feel like there is a major imbalance with our current source of news and media, not just here in the States, but all over the world. I have to actively seek out positive news, while it's almost impossible to totally avoid the negative media out there. I would very much like to help try to shift that narrative to something a bit more upbeat, but I can't do it without your help. While growing up, I was obsessed with different cultures and traveling to see them. I would either have my nose buried in a National Geographic or my eyes glued to a TV screen while watching the Travel Channel and envisioning what it would be like to travel there one day. So after working nonstop for five years and saving every penny that we could, my boyfriend Carl and I gave away almost all of our material possessions I sold my car, we left our house, and drastically scaled down what we had that could fit into a backpack that we could carry with us. We left behind our jobs, family, and friends to actively pursue our dream of seeing this world of ours. We purchased a one-way ticket, and that was it. We took off. We let the wind take us wherever we felt like we needed to go, and usually traveled by whatever way was the cheapest at the time sometimes walking as a way of getting from point A to point B. We stepped foot on four different continents and explored 25 separate countries and met hundreds of incredible people in the process while making amazing connections with them. Seriously, an experience that forever changed my life and not a day goes by that I don't stop and think about it. Before we left, I noticed something rather strange about the way our family and friends were acting when they would talk about us going on our trip. Anytime someone would ask us about our travel plans and where we were going, almost always it was met with some sort of fear or worry. But I would be lying to say if there wasn't a little bit of that within myself. I know that the reason for their concern was merely that they cared about us and they just wanted us to be safe. But I had to ask myself, why do we have so much fear inside of us when thinking about the rest of the world? It's because it's unknown. My theory is that fear stems from what we don't know. And until we experience it ourselves, we may never know what's out there. We get most of our information about the rest of the world through mainstream media, but that's only a handful of individuals paying attention to a handful of scenarios. And most of that is focused on what would make you fear ever leaving the comforts of your own home. I totally get it, and there's no judgment coming from me that you feel safer here than out there. If I kept watching what's going on out there through that lens, I would have never boarded that plane. But I did get on that plane, and I faced a number of my own preconceived fears about the rest of the world, and I can tell you that almost every single one of those fears were shattered when I was on that journey. I'm not a huge statistics person, and I know that these facts are coming from my own experiences and not scientific data, but I can tell you from my heart that normally we see only a very limited part of what's going on out there. To me, it feels like a fraction of the information out there is awful and devastating, but most is positive, loving, and inspiring. I am in no way condemning the news that is out there as being wrong or entirely misleading, and I know the importance of paying attention when disasters strike in order to help those people in need. But with everything in life, there needs to be a balance. When seeing all these incredible cultures and learning about our differences, it was made very clear to me that we're all the same. We all want the same exact thing drinkable water, clean air to breathe, nourishing food, shelter, and love. Not all of us have that, and every day I am eternally grateful for having each of those in my life. During our travels, we met so many amazing and inspiring people from all walks of life. So many people with such incredible stories to tell. Even though you can run into the occasional unpleasant person anywhere you go and come across some really bad experiences, most everyone we met were more than happy to go out of their way to help us out. I truly can't begin to explain how grateful I am to those of you who helped us when we needed it, 
or think of a way to directly return the favor for what kindness that you've shown us. So this could possibly be my way of doing just that. I want to give back, and I feel like having a platform as a way of connecting everyone through their own stories is a step in the right direction. But I can't do this without all of your help. I need stories. Your stories. I want to hear positive experiences that you've had, and I want to share them with the rest of the world. I have quite a few stories myself, but I think that those can only get me so far. I want us to connect with one another and feel like this is the perfect time to do so. I'm hoping that this can help us all get to know one another better and bridge that gap and eliminate those unknowns. I feel the only reason why we have separation and prejudice in this world is because we need to listen to one another's experiences, not just our own. I want to hear the news that doesn't make it to the headlines, the stuff society deemed as unworthy for our attention. I want to share the good stuff, the real good stuff. It can be something that happened to you yesterday or 10 years ago, at home or while traveling. It could have happened to you directly or to a friend. Something nice that you did for a friend or family member, a complete stranger, or for yourself. If you're working on personally trying to better your life in some way, I want to hear about it. If you, someone you know, or an organization that you know of is making significant changes to help the health and well-being of our planet, please share that story. It could be a huge gesture that changed your life or something that just made your day. I need those stories and would be more than happy to share them with anybody who wants to listen. I want your experiences and stories to help create a shift in our current reality of fearing that unknown into a world that we all understand and can call home. Hopefully we can get to know one another and see ourselves as family and not just distant strangers. I'll be working on putting together a video once a week, every Monday. I feel like it's a nice way to start off your week on a positive note. Each show will highlight three main focuses, genuine human experiences and interactions, something in nature that we can connect to or learn about, and some form of art that needs to be expressed, seen, heard, or felt. I feel like these things are what make human beings come alive. I will also be posting in the description notes below the videos weekly links of books, articles, music, podcasts, movies, videos, photos, paintings, and whatever other suggestions you have or feel would benefit people near you or far away. For these, I need all the suggestions that I can get. So please feel free and leave any ideas or comments below the video. If you'd like to share your stories, please send them through email at the link below, bee.connected2017 at gmail. If you feel like you need to personally share your story, I would love nothing more than to have you do so. And I could figure out a way of setting up an interview via Skype or some other form of video chat. If you'd like to share your story, but you'd want to remain anonymous, I completely understand, and just tell me to do so, and I'll leave your name out of it. So if you'd enjoy watching these videos each week, please press the thumbs up and like this video. Say you want to tune in every Monday, just click the subscribe button below. If you think your family, friends, neighbors, acquaintances, co-workers, pets, or houseplants would benefit from these videos, please feel free to share on any form of social media that you wish or just send them a private link and a message. If you feel the need to help me out monetarily, you can donate to keep this show going strong. There will be a link to a GoFundMe page I started, a dollar, or two, or five, or a million. Just kidding. Um, seriously, anything helps. If there's enough positive feedback from all of you out there, then I would be more than happy to shift around some of my daily priorities to making more videos or getting myself back on the road to bring you footage from out there, showing you just how amazingly positive our planet truly is. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to my idea. I hope this helped you out in any way, and I would seriously love to hear from you with any stories, feedback, notes, suggestion, or just love and support that you can send my way. Thank you so much. I love you all. Have a great week, and I'll see you soon. See ya.